Okay. <coughs> oh my gosh, I don't know what just happened. But we have full tank of gas. It is Saturday at 12 noon. The um, rain has subsided. So we are going to get out here and handle some home and classroom errands today. I got those baskets um, earlier this week from Target and Walmart to see if they would fit into the cube storage. I didn't like the way they looked, so I need to return them. And I want to try to find some woven or wicker baskets in like a natural brown um, color. They have some at Ikea. That's my last option. <laughs> I know that they have them in stock. I've already checked, but that again is my last option because they are $25 a basket and I really don't want to do that. But they would all be cohesive. They would all be the exact same. And yeah, because I was thinking of doing something like going to a couple different Goodwills and trying to find them, but they won't be square. They won't be rectangular. I tried that last year. so. We're gonna get out here and do a couple errands and I wanna take you with me. for the baskets as you can see got a couple bags behind me I went to Ross and Burlington now Ross I love them because they have lots of different like bat wicker baskets and things like that in there but they're all rectangular and I'm not sure that they're going to fit into my four cubes the way that I want them to because they are rectangular so they're not really going to fill up the space and give the look that I want so even though they were cheap some of them are like three and four dollars a basket even though they were cheap one I would have had to mix and match which I said I didn't want to do and two I would have had to um I don't think they're gonna look the way I want them to look if you get my drift so I left them there and then I went to Burlington because there's a Burlington right next door and in Burlington I found they're not wicker or woven baskets and they're a tannish kind of almond color but they resemble like that Target basket right there, you can't see that one right there, they resemble that, but they're not as large. And the problem that I have with Target and Walmart, their baskets are cheap, but they all come in white, black, or gray. Like, <laughs> give me some other options, please and thank you. So I'm gonna see how they look in the cubes. I wasn't planning on going to the building on Monday but maybe I will go for an hour when I leave the gym and just see how these baskets look that way when I leave Tuesday for vacation I can look while I'm on vacation because it's always fun to shop while on vacation um, And then, because if I go Monday, I still won't be back in the building because I have to go to the building on the 10th from 8 to 3 because we have a training and we get our new laptops. Decisions, decisions. Yes, I'm back again. It's Monday and my carpet has really been cleaned it looked clean the last time but there was a stained spot on it and they got it off like it's gone 
So it's been clean, clean. And I have my list and I know what I want to do before I leave tomorrow for my little vacay. So I'm going to just work, 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 work because I don't have any tutoring students today. So I'm just going to work until my principal comes down and puts me out. But yeah, let's get right into it so that we can be as productive as possible. I brought my water. I brought my protein shake. I didn't bring any snacks. I'm thinking that I will have to leave about one or two-ish anyway to eat. So if I need to run out and purchase any things and bring them back, then I can do that. But I want to kind of get some type of organization done and a little bit of setup done and measuring some things because I need to measure this wall for the bulletin board that I'm going to put on here I think it would be too difficult to make it a long rectangle like I planned on my laptop but we'll also see also because I have to be back here the 10th and I want to say the 10th is next week anyway I think I mentioned this in the last video but hey here we are so let's get cracking so everything i was supposed to laminate at home i ended up doing here but all my labels and all the center stuff laminated i didn't record it because why and so now i'm going to cut these labels out put them on everything in the closet back there and then put this stuff away in the file cabinet i might record some of that also i took down my secret stories from up there because i'm planning to put the sound wall and the oh no that's the vowel valley and then the sound wall so the sound wall here vowel valley there so that we can use it more as a resource this school year i'm thinking of doing my carpet long ways also but it takes up kind of a lot of space, but we're gonna see. Okay, so. I didn't record this because all I did was put new labels. I know that one's crooked, it's fine. And then I raised this up a bit so that I could fit three. Because if you've seen my videos in the past, you know there were only two. I know that's crooked, it's fine. But then I also organized all of the student supplies right here. So crayons, glue sticks, you can read the labels. I don't know what I'm going to do when the kids bring in more dry erase markers, more glue sticks, more crayons in the fall. Because I'm not going to have nowhere to put them. Um, this is where I'm going to do my... Um, new special project right there. That box is not going to live there. I don't like the way this looks. So this stuff will go in the um, grade level storage in the hall. But we had to turn in our keys so I can't get in. And then the rest of my scrapbook cases will go there. They're currently living up there right now. And I'm going to do something different. I probably need to get some more of these. But this size... I could put three up there and that's what I could do with the overflow. Where'd I get those from Target? Maybe I'll go to Target and pick those up right now. That way I have them, but I'm not coming back because I've been here literally all day and I don't feel accomplished. So as I said, I'm trying my uh, rug this way. As you can see, it's nice and clean, still drying. So those dark spots and some wet spots. Then I put this table here so that I could see how it's gonna look. The room has less space than it does on my diagram because it's not to scale, but that table doesn't go there. It actually goes over there and I didn't wanna get into that today, so I did it. I put this here and then for my special project that I'm working on for this area, I turned these this way and I'm thinking of getting a four cube like this, but just 
one, two, three, four, not four, eight, and putting it there, and then putting this futon on top of it. I tried to lift this and see if it would go on there, but it was too heavy. And then my other thing will go this way, and then they'll enter on this side. That way I can still open these cabinets when I need to. And we don't really use the desktops like that, so this one will just not be used. This is going to be my calm area again. It'll be behind there, so it's fine. I took pictures of my desk, of what I want to put on it. This will hold books. This will have books. So this will be like my library area. There'll be some little pillows. I'm gonna have a chair right here for when I teach. Found one on Amazon for $40, but I'm trying to wait to Prime Day. And I labeled this. Hold on, take my shoes off to get on the carpet. I labeled this. I put up the date for the first day of school. Put the rest of the pieces there. This is my reward center. Display of books. I started putting those up there, but I just got tired of going up and down. So the rest are right there. And I didn't take down that side because I didn't finish this side. And that's about all I did. <laughs> Okay, so I only wanted borders and paper from Lakeshore because I want to change my borders and, and not even change all the borders. I just want a lighter uh, brown and um, what else? Because the burlap, the burlap brown looks too much like the cork board like the bullet the actual bulletin board to me and it's dark and if you've been following my channel for a while you know that I am in my first ever classroom without windows since my second year teaching so um last year they had these light brown uh border options and this year I didn't find them in Lakeshore they're probably online um, but here in Georgia, we have a store called the school box. So I'm going to run over there because it's only 15 minutes away. So I'm going to run over there and see what they have over there. And then if I don't like what they have, then I'll go back and get the options that I saw in Lakeshore because I have a coupon to get $10 off of 50 and I know the two rolls of bulletin board paper are about $20 there, um, a piece, rounding up, because that better than paper is expensive. So, game plan is to run over to Schoolbox, see what Schoolbox has in terms of borders, and if I like what I see, I'll get it from Schoolbox, and I'll just go home. If not... Then I'll go over to go back to Lakeshore. Another thing about going to Schoolbox is Schoolbox is a little bit more pricey because it's locally owned. So it's just a, it costs a little bit more to get the same stuff from Schoolbox than it does in Lakeshore because Lakeshore is nationwide. So, and they don't give a bunch of coupons usually. Oh, they might have like a little leaflet when I walk in. We'll see. That's the plan. The plan is to head over to Schoolbox now and we'll go from there. <laughs> <laughs> 